was workmanlike from Essendon against uh, Carlton. They got beaten up around the clearances. How were Essendon still able to kick a winning score? Well, Essendon were belted, yeah, at clearances and contested possessions. And that usually spells danger when you're beaten in those two areas. But I think it was um, Carlton's lack of class um, to be able to finish off their work that really hurt them. I thought the Essendon defence, yet again, you know, Hurley had two goals kicked on him early. Uh, but then I uh, wouldn't have seen Henderson for the rest of the day. Hooker's ability in the air, uh, Casbolt again, was rarely sighted. I think Bagley's underrated. So I think the defence, in a sense, really saved Essendon today and probably wouldn't have got away with that against a Hawthorne or a Sydney in the previous two weeks. And then it was the outside run again. I just thought... Uh, the X factor for Essendon, uh, the lesser lights, as good as Watson was, still Collier was probably one of the better 13 possession disposal games I've ever seen with what he did. Uh, Zaha Arkas early in the game was getting tagged by Kerno, but um, was just too explosive off the mark. And then you've got Zach Merritt as well. So I thought just the, the class of the outside run of Essendon was just far superior. But they were very lucky in the end because you wouldn't want to give that ascendancy to Collingwood next week with the clearances and the contested possession. So Matty, we've picked out some vision here. What did you notice? Well, we just spoke about the outside run of Essendon and that's what really troubled Carlton. I don't think they had that class. You know, Murphy had his numbers with disposals. Judd was well held by Melsham for most of the day. So none of the Carlton um, runners got going, whereas for Essen, I thought Collier, Zaharakis in particular, were just electric on the outside. And here's just one of the bits of play where they all got involved. And um, here's Watson at the stoppage. Uh, the game's all about transition. So you've got to defend one minute and you've got to attack on the other. And just watch some of Watson's play. Collier's in the centre of the ground. Uh, Yaron is sitting 10 metres off him. This is just Job's ability to go third man up and know his teammates inside out. So Carlton win possession of the full. Job's trying to defend at the moment. He's just there in the corridor. He knows his teammates. Hurley, class right foot kick. He spreads. So there's Job out the back. Collier, he's got Yaron sitting off him by 10 metres. So it's just Carazzo's lack of reaction time. Zaharakis gets his man caught on the outside. They had the outside. They went to the uh, fat side where there was space everywhere. And I thought that was just the run and carry of Essendon and their, their finishing skills really it was the same amount of inside 50s. Carlton went long, just bombed the ball inside 50. Yet Essendon, I just thought the, the way they entered inside 50 was a far superior to Carlton and um, you know, they, the finishing skills were much better as well. And some more vision here, Matty. This one from an Essendon kick out. Yeah, again, just the, the smarts on the outside for Essen. I just thought they used the ball much better than Carlton. There was a difference in the end. This one here is a, you know, Chris Judd kicks the point. So suddenly Carlton have to try and defend. And thought this one here, Hooker gets the ball in nice. Oh, Hibbard, sorry, gets the ball in quickly to Travis Collier. What Cripps, young player, he's, met, he's guarded the wrong side. He's been hit up the front. He has to, there, get in front of Travis Collier. He doesn't, doesn't do that. Collier gets in front of him, which allows the overlap for Travis Collier to get it out to Fletch. Just, they created an overlap by Cripps not getting it. Watson, again, just that reaction time to get out it's into the open spaces. It was at a crucial time, that goal, when I just thought that Carlton was starting to come, Essendon was starting to tire. Just gave that breathing space. And yet, um, as good as Carlton were on the inside, I thought it was the destructive nature of Essendon's run. Of, you know, not only Collier and Merritt and those types, but the captain, I think he was best on ground by a long way due to not only his inside work, but his outside work. I think he was the most complete player on the ground. Beauty, thanks a lot, Matty. Thank you. Thank you.